with our few brothers that we have walking with us here in Philadelphia. Um, I'm sure there's some questions. On top of some questions, uh, uh, I know that, you know, I don't know if there's any skeptics, but uh, what we're going to show today, we brought some King Alfred plans to show you what, what the government is planning and has been planning for some time, for the last two, three generations. Um, things, things are changing, as you can all see. And there's nothing that's going on in the earth that's not written up in the Bible. We're living in the days that Jesus, and I'm going to say Jesus because generalizing, I grew up in a church. That's the name I called on because that's the name that's in the Bible. We understand that in the Hebrew, his name is Yeshua. Because when Jesus was walking the earth, there was no J's. There was no U's. Okay, those are those are what you would call Latin a Latin spin on Christ's true name. Jesus prophesied at the time we're living in. The Lord woke us up in this time to preach and tell people what's going on. Um, we can't take no credit for nothing. We were in the world just like everyone else, and we had aspirations and dreams in America. We grew up in the regular institutions. We grew up in church, in school. We were good citizens. You understand? Uh, but we found through time and through trial that we were pulled out of the world to show what we're showing now. Because someone had to do it. Everyone else is in a wheel. So, so when, they, when there's a drastic change, when something is about to happen in the earth and you read the Bible, and I know a lot of you read the Bible. When something is about to happen, the Lord pulled people out to talk to people. He did it through every empire. Okay, so like I said, we can't take credit for none of this. We're here to warn the people. Now, really, we don't take anything personal. We, we tell you what the Most High say. We go out the Bible. We can answer any questions. And... Really, it really doesn't weigh on us one way or the other whether people hear or whether people reject. Because this is not our work. This is not our will. We tell you and we show you what the Lord said. And it's up to each individual to believe or not believe. Okay, so we don't deal with conflict. We don't deal with, you know, trying to hurt people. We sacrifice our time to build people. And to warn people, because that's, that's what time it is. You're going to find that um, our institutions, all of our institutions, were, were set up to take us down. And we're not just any other people. And see, what's going on right now is what this government and what this world feared for a long time. Our people are starting to realize that we're not the people they said we are. They starting to realize they, they realize that we're waking up to the fact that we're more than Negroes and African Americans, or they know that there's something greater about us, and we're finding this out. So now that they know that we are at that the Lord has given us these answers, they have no recourse but to eventually try to get rid of us. Now I'm going to go in detail and show it in the scriptures, but before I do that like we do all the time. I would like to first open it up for any questions some people or brothers or sisters might have. Or maybe you've seen some clips or maybe you, you have some concerns. We're willing to, to answer anything or any question. And we guarantee you any question you ask, we'll be able to pull the answer out of this Bible so you'll know that it's not us answer. So we want to open up the floor since you, and first of all, also I'd like to, to, to thank you for welcoming, welcoming us in, into your home. That's number one. You just don't let anyone up in your home. So uh, the Lord says that those that house the saints will get the reward of a prophet. You understand? So we'd like to thank you for welcome, welcoming the brothers and sisters into your home. It is a warm home and a spiritual home. I'd like to thank you for that. But before we go into it, 
we want to open it up. Any questions you may have, brothers and sisters, we're here to serve you. The floor is open for you. Well, me personally, I, you know, would rather hear the presentation first, and then if I have any questions, okay, you know, I can go from there. Okay, so I, just, I don't know what to ask because okay. I don't know what you're gonna teach me or what you, you know. Okay, okay. I wanted to open it before initially because I know some people have probably saw our teachings online and other places. I've never or seen. Okay, I've never seen it. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Um, I just think that. A lot of, as far as black people, yeah. I think they, they have strayed from, you know, basically what you said. We all have had the teachings of the Lord, of Jesus, and whatever. And a lot of us have strayed away from God. And black people need to realize that they need to really get back. And don't put their trust in the white man. Don't put their trust in nobody but the Lord. You know, no matter what you're going through or whatever, the bottom line that you really need to yourself seek and pray and ask the Lord to help you and guide you. These black men of the day, they need to come back to their families, their own black families, and help their children. You see what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of young, young black boys out here are lost. A lot of the black guys are in jail, incarcerated. You know, who want who, who, who to lead them? You see what I'm saying? The black, the black family need a mother and they need a father. A woman can't do it. All, I mean, push come to shelf, she can do it because I have two boys. And with the help of myself and my mother, you know, my mother and my sisters and brother, they helped me raise my two sons and they came up good. I, I can thank the Lord that I don't have no problem, you know, with them. They never been in trouble with the Lord and, and what have you. You know, and they two fine young black men. But these black men, before you can reach out and go into another race or deal with some other race, you need to start with your own kind, helping your own kind. You know, if the head of the household is messed up, you know what I mean? If the black man is messed up, confused, on drugs, you know, un uneducated, you know, don't know which way to go, how are they going to lead their families? These black men need to stand up as men, get themselves together, get off these drugs, come out of these prisons, and help these black women to do what they need to do. And, and get back in tune with the Lord. You know, far is trying to get some type of direction in which way to go. Because I, I drive through Baltimore, through D.C., and other cities, and all you see is schools and schools of young black boys just pinned in the street. Don't have no directions in which way they want to go, unless, unless they have a good mother and father trying to show up. A woman, a black woman can't do it all by herself. You know what I mean? I mean, very few. There are some have been a mother and have been a father to their children. But they really need to take a hold, I mean, stand up, get, I mean, whether you're with the woman or not, whether you're married to her or just had a baby by her or whatever, or have children by her, they need to get back and get these young men, these young girls, you see what I'm saying? And direct their mind where they're supposed to go. Well, what you're saying is that's that's the calling of the most high <coughs> men in a nutshell. Yeah, that's because, true. Because this movement and every movement according to the Most High, started with men. See, but one thing, I, I'm going to tell you, and this is a whole other lesson we're going to go into. We are, we epitomize the Willie Lynch training. And the Willie Lynch training has came to its fullness. Read Ezekiel 34 and 31 first. And sister, what you're saying I mean, I mean, all of our sisters are crying out with the same cry about these men. All right? But I'm... I'm, I'm